listen to me very clearly. And I'm going to say it with my whole chest, too. What happened to Sonia Massey never would have happened to her if she would have been a white woman. I. How do you know that, woman? Like, how do you, how do you know that? First off, it's not true, but what and what what think about how how racist this woman is to say some stupid shit like this. Think about how racist she has to be to say something like this. Don't understand her. what if I want you to listen to this woman and listen to how racist she is and how arrogant. And uppity she is. And how much she projects. This woman is a bad person. She's the type of woman that most people say, oh, she's a she's a great person, man. She's nice. She's you know, she's a nice woman. This woman is a demon. You can already tell just by listening to the first few seconds. Listen to me and listen to me very clearly. And I'm going to say it with my whole chest, too. What happened to Sonia Massey never would have happened to her if she would have been a white woman. I don't understand how we are all not on the same page with what we see on that body cam. I don't know how every single person is not condemning the. Think about that. I don't know how every single. Have you asked every single person? So you're saying if every single person doesn't make a TikTok about this, then they're a bad person. Because you made a TikTok, you're a good person. You got ahead of it, man. You made your TikTok. So, whoo, your hands are clean, man. And now you're going to fucking point the finger at everybody else, man, and make everybody else feel bad because you made a TikTok about this. What about the other 80 billion fucking murders in Blackistan that you didn't make no TikTok about? You, you whore, you stupid whore. The actions of that man point blank period there was no justification in what happened to that woman i am so ashamed to say that i truly did not believe racism racism still existed in 2024 and that so you didn't think racism still existed in 2020 have you been watching the wnba you nimrod you been following Caitlin Clark's journey through the WNBA, you Nimrod, you moron. <laughs> Have you looked at the uh, interracial murder stats in America? <laughs> Have you been to Black Twitter? <laughs> Have you Have you scrolled through Black Twitter for five minutes? Racism definitely exists. This woman is terrible. She's horrible. So when when the shit hits the fan, like in her mind, the shit has hit the fan. So as a white person, when the shit hits the fan, first thing she's going to do is throw every other white person under the bus and, and stand on their dead bodies and say, hey, everybody, I'm one of the good ones. <laughs> Look at that, how she responded to this crisis, man. She's a, she's a demon, man. I am so ashamed to say that I truly did not believe racism, racism still existed in 2024. And that is because I am privileged in being a white woman, okay? I don't have, I am not a racist person. I don't have a racist bone in my body. 
Your privilege is be. Think about how what she just said. I'm privileged as being a white woman. And then she followed that up with, I don't have a racist bone in my body. But you think you got this privilege that you think you have. But let me tell you, baby, when we when we out hunting, man, when we see you, it's like when an a eagle sees a, a trout or salmon swimming, swimming on the water level. <laughs> it's like when a pack of wolves sees an injured deer, man. <laughs> you could think you got privilege all you want, ma'am. Uh, you ain't got no privilege when we hunting. When we hunting, all whatever privilege you think you have is like completely out the window, man. <laughs> I'd love to know where she lives, man. I'd love to know where she lives, man. <laughs> yeah, she one of them little deers that when they pop out the, the womb and they be struggling, they be trying to stand up, their legs be all wobbly. They be like a boxer that's punch drunk. She she like one of them when we go hunting, man, when sons go hunting. But she run around talking about she got privilege. I don't understand that mentality. And maybe that's why I didn't believe it existed because I can't wrap my mind around, I can't wrap my mind around it. How anybody can be judged based off the color of their skin. So that cop judged her off the color of her skin. <laughs> Think about what she's saying, man. The cop judged her by the, the cop shouldn't have killed her. Yes. No, he shouldn't have. He shouldn't have shot her. But you saying this doesn't get you anything. The first time a black person feels uncomfortable in your presence, the first time you don't kiss a black person's ass that's in your presence, you're going to be branded a racist, you fucking moron. Press one. And I was just naive to a lot of the realities of the world i have had numerous run-ins with the law i have had guns drawn on me i have been told to stop moving with guns drawn on me and i continued to move and i walked away and the only and so have i so have a million other black people And the fact that you don't know that means that you don't know any black people. The reason why I did is because I was a white woman, probably. I wholeheartedly believe that now. I really, truly, honestly do. I am trying to literal, I'm trying to make sense of what I witnessed on this body cam. And I, I can't, I can't. There is no justifying it. There is, there's no justifying it. He, that woman, when she called them for help, okay, if that boiling pot of water was such a threat to them, why didn't they go over to the stove and turn it off? Why didn't he immediately draw his gun when she picked up the water? I don't understand why he drew his gun. Uh, why didn't he? So now she's, think about what she's saying. Now she's saying... The cop should have immediately pulled his gun as soon as she picked up the water. <laughs> now she wants him to have pulled his gun out earlier. <laughs> Miss, I'm not racist. Miss, I'm all this and that, and I'm such a great person. Wants the cop to have pulled out his gun earlier. None at all. Like, you have a taser, bro. You got a taser. You are far, like, you were plenty of distance away from her. Yeah, numbskull. But he pulled out his gun. Think about it, man. Him pulling out the gun gave her the advantage, man. She had the advantage. She knew how serious it was. 
that was his weapon of choice. You ever play a video game where you, you, you choose your weapon? He chose his weapon. Now the ball was in her court. And she still threw the pot at him. Oh, this might be one of them people that don't that didn't see the other body cam or one of the people that saw the other body cam and just doesn't talk about it because it doesn't fit their narrative. That that boiling water was not a threat to you. And if you truly if he truly thought it was a threat to him, he could have tased her. You don't walk up on a threat. She said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And that man lost his shit and literally her in cold blood. I will say it with until I turn blue in the face because that's all it is. There is that's all it is. That's all there is to this situation. Cities burned when the cops criminal in front of our eyes and we went cities burn when four cops in a city in one city ma'am there are 18,000 police departments in this country 18,000 right now if I go to the fucking Walmart I'll pass through three different police departments There's 18,000 police departments in this country, ma'am. What do you mean the cops did something? What do you mean the cops did X, Y, Z? The cops. <laughs> the cops did. <laughs> Salute to um, Scott Kelly, man. He says, Cherokee County, North Carolina. Unarmed Jason Clove was shot by police. He was white. And no charges were filed. Nothing got burned up or destroyed. <laughs> nah, man. Jason Clove got privilege, man. The privilege to not have his community burn, man. <laughs> when uh he gets shot, man. That's how privileged he is. Clofi, Clofi, Jason Clofi. He got privilege, man. Yeah, man. When I get when when he gets shot, they, they don't burn stuff down, man. Shout out to Jason Clofi, man. He got a he got a good man. You got it so good, Jason, man. You can get shot and you you don't have to take the embarrassment of of a you know a big deal being made out of it, man. <laughs> Nobody make a big deal out of you getting shot, man. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know. Cope for. Witnessed them brutally an innocent woman who called them for help there was no threat to that woman until the police entered her fucking house and that is what is so sad to me when is enough gonna be enough I just, I, that that woman did not deserve that okay she never okay I, I i can agree with you there that woman did not deserve that hope I wish that didn't happen to that woman. Yes, she threw the pot of water at the cop. Yes, she's crazy as the day is long. Her kids say she was a schizophrenic, paranoid schizophrenic. Yes, the situation escalated very fast and went from zero to 60 and boom, she was dead. 
It's very tragic. I'll give you that. Very, very tragic. Never deserved that. And there are so many others that didn't deserve what happened to them. Somebody please help me make sense of this because I am desperately trying to make some sort of sense with this. I have an autistic daughter that I am just in so much fear for when she gets older because my daughter can't just comply. What if she gets into a situation, I'm not there and the cops don't understand. But she's your daughter and you have privilege. Isn't she white? Maybe she's not white. Maybe her daughter's biracial. Because she surely wouldn't be worried about her white daughter. And she's severely autistic. And what if they shoot my baby? Our police need... We need to do something. Our police are not... They're not capable at this point. For I... So because two cops in one of the 18,000 police departments in this country, well, actually one cop, one cop in one of the 18,000 police departments in this country killed a woman, a black woman. All the police are bad, and they all need diversity training now. This is the problem with putting women in leadership. Because you think about if she was in charge of, think about if she was the police chief. Think about if she was the mayor of the, that city. Think about if she was a business leader in that city. Think about if she was the police chief. Think about if this woman was on the city council. Think about all that stuff. Think about if this woman was a neighborhood commission on the neighborhood advisory commission. Think about that. With this type of mind. I have watched so many videos. I've watched them do it to black, white, disabled. This is just... How are we letting this happen? And they keep getting away with it. This man will be found. Ma'am, ma who got away with it? Did Derek Chauvin get away with it? Did Amber Geiger, who's doing 10 years for killing Botham Jean, did she get away with it? Did the cop in Atlanta who's on trial for death row Facing a death sentence for killing um Rashad Brooks. Did he get away with it? I mean, some cops get away with it, but like maybe they deserve to get away with it. Plenty of cops get in trouble for killing you, son turds. The cops who the black cops who killed Freddie Gray, they got in trouble. The black cops who killed um, what's that kid? Nichols, um, in Memphis. They on trial right now. What is she, what are you talking about, man? Pl plenty of cops go down for killing sun turds. Found guilty. If he's not, like I said, cities burned over George Floyd. This was an innocent woman that was scared and. Are you trying to rile up black people to, to go out and loot? Are you trying to instigate looting and violent demonstrations in the street? Is that what you're trying to egg on? And called them for help because she thought there was an intruder. There was so many things that they could have done differently. They were irritated going up to her door. Okay. I could hear it in their voice asking her for her ID. Like these people weren't there to help her from the beginning. I can't, and I can't even believe this is a, like people are arguing over this. I can't even believe, I can't believe this.
you white women are annoying, annoying. Like y'all are, y'all are annoying, annoying. Gee, hey man. Hi, good morning. Just in case you're wondering if I am still pissed off. To her home to check the perimeter and make sure that it was safe and secure because she thought she heard a prowler outside. And then that officer shot her three times in the face because she had a pot of boiling water and then called her a crazy bitch. Yes, I am. Bye. See that house over there? Right across. right across the street. That's Jay's house. Jay's a veteran. Heather, right across the street. That's Jay's house. Jay's a veteran. Heavily armed, big black dude, keeps an eye on everything. Literally knows everything that goes on in this neighborhood. Salt of the earth kind of dude, works with troubled youth. Yesterday he came over, he knocked on the door, he said, do you know anything about that car right there? He's talking about this white car right here. I said, I don't know whose car that is, that's not anybody visiting my house. He walked over there, investigated the whole thing. I wish Sonia Massey had a J. You know, I wish she had a J to call instead of calling the cops. I can't tell you how grateful I am for Jay. Uh Ma'am, Sonia Massey lived in a black neighborhood. That Jay shit you talking about, it don't work in black neighborhoods. It's called being a nosy ass, hot ass nigga. And some 15 year olds will fucking kill you in broad daylight over that shit. That Jay shit you talking about only works in white neighborhoods like yours see that house over there right across the street that's jay's house jay's a veteran heavily armed big black dude keeps an eye on everything literally knows everything that goes on in this neighborhood salt of the earth kind of dude works with troubled youth yesterday he came over he knocked on the door he said do you know anything about that car right there he's talking about this white car right here i said i don't know whose car that is that's not anybody visiting my house he walked over there investigated the whole thing I wish Sonia Massey had a J. You know, I wish she had a J to call instead of calling the cops. I can't tell you how grateful I am for J. Uh, I mean, I'm also heavily armed, but J sees things that I don't see. I hope that in your neighborhood, you can either be the J or you have a J. Because Sonia didn't have a J. What if she would have tried to throw some hot water on Jay? What you think would have happened if she tried to throw some hot water on Jay? Huh?